still cold and windy, <laughs> needless to say. Uh, I want to show you what I've completed. The rail is up, two 12-foot sections and two 10-foot sections with the couplers that you see there that join the rail together. And when we come to the end, I've got a little bit left over. I'll take a, a reciprocating saw, cut that flush, because as you look at it, we'll slide the two 10-foot doors this way. And I opted for two 10s instead of just one big 20-foot door. I want to show you some newest members to the farm. These are the beef steers in this pasture here, but on the other side are all the mama cows. And we started calving. That one right there is brand new. I checked the cows this morning. I set out hay and uh, no new babies. And then uh, we went to church and come back. And there we go. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but this past week, let's go over and look at these two babies. The chocolate milk colored one, that's a little boy. And then the black baldy, the, the black one with the white face, it's got the ring around its eye or spot on its eye. That's a little girl. And number 10 is the mama. Hunker down out of the wind. Pretty precious.
you've got a Woodland Mills sawmill or if you are with Woodland Mills, the upgrade kit that you sent to me and that I put on this sawmill is a great improvement from the handles going up and the saw head raising and lowering is so much nicer. Okay, let's talk for a minute. I have four 10 foot boards, inch and a half thick, seven and an eighth wide. I'm not really concerned about the, the width, I can make that work. What I'm going to do is use the Craig pocket hole jig to use pocket hole screws and uh, did some research on that. I want to use the blue colored ones. The blue colored ones are for uh, use in outdoor construction. So and I'm thinking about using some adhesive as well in doing jigging the frame. Now I think the last video you've seen my trailer I will need to clean off my trailer for a flat surface to build and square up um, the door frames. Then when I get that done the pine boards that I have sawn up the inch and uh, inch and an eighth thick for my board and batten on the sawmill side shed I will just put one at the start and the finish keep the door square hang it up so it's you know not too heavy and then I'll be able to go ahead and finish putting the boards on there and when I get all the boards on this side done and that wood pile gone that's in front of me then I will go ahead and start sawing up the batten boards and I'm going to take the batten boards and put them in the solar kiln and let them dry down um, good before I put them on the side. 